Excellent. What's up guys, welcome back to CES 2017 coverage. I want to start off, of course, by thanking my sponsors for this event, which are Gigabyte, Deepcool, as well as OCZ, a Toshiba company. Thanks to all those guys, links for them are in the description below. I'm an MSI right now though, and I'm gonna talk first about the motherboards that are here behind me, a bunch of Z270 stuff. They also have a new external GPU dock, uh, and they also have a monitor that they're showing off now. Finally, AM4 motherboards. So starting with these motherboards here, you might notice they're arranged in series, so they've done this to help you more easily determine what motherboard you might need. Pro Series, Arsenal Series, Performance Gaming Series, and the Enthusiast Gaming Series. The Pro Series over here is made more for professionals, so they're a little bit more subdued, a little bit more low profile. They have silver accents on the motherboards themselves. This one is labeled Z270 PC Mate, and the PC Mate ones are usually much more reasonably priced as well. They have a little mini ITX version down there uh, that's a B250i Pro, so it's a business grade chipset, but those are often perfectly adequate for gaming or multi-purpose systems as well. So there's a quick look at the Pro Series. The Arsenal Gaming Series, I thought was kind of cool. Uh, they went with the more, I mean, definitely like aimed at gamers type aesthetic for the design. Uh, there's two tomahawk boards and also a mortar board. They're essentially uh, the same except for colors and uh, size, of course. Uh, so the, tr the, the design that they actually have printed on the back of the PCB there is actually meant to look like a, a tank tread. So it's like your motherboard was ran over by a tank or something, which is just super exciting. Uh, they also have it available in white right here. So uh, if you want to do a white build, you can do that as well. Uh, these are all going to, of course, support uh, the features that MSI has in lots of their Z270 boards. So support for Cable Lake, uh, support for like M.2. Uh, I'm noticing all these boards have at least two M.2 slots. That one there has two M.2. This one here has two M.2. The mortar down at the bottom also has the M.2, and this one has the same visual aesthetic as the uh, full-size Tomahawk. So there's a few of those. Next up, moving into the Performance Gaming Series, and these are the boards that you're going to want if you want higher-end gaming features, and also if you want RGB LED support, because RGB LEDs are what all gamers want, as we all know. This is a Gaming Pro Carbon uh, Z270. I actually have this motherboard at home right now, so perhaps I can bring you some more information on it in the future. Uh, again, going with like lots of M.2 support, there's a couple on that one uh, in the middle and down, down towards the bottom. And uh, RGB LEDs both on the chipset heatsink, uh, up here in the corner on the VRM uh, cover and the IO cover. And then there's also uh, RGB LEDs going down the right side of the board. Here's the Crate Gaming. Uh, the Crate series has been typically black and white or mostly black and white color scheme. This one has like a zebra stripe or claws or something like that going across the top. They've also had a nice detail here in the PCI Express slots. Uh, these aren't lining up right because it's a demo board, but those are actually plasti dipped, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then, of course, a couple M.2s, KB Lake supports, and uh, all the goodness that comes along with Z270. Finally, at the bottom is Z270i Gaming Pro Carbon AC. This is a tiny little mic, uh, mini ITX board. Uh, again, this one has RGB LEDs, uh, but other than that, the color scheme is fairly neutral. Thank you for that MSI. Got a bit of uh, carbon fiber accents, uh, faux, faux carbon si fiber accents there on the sides. Uh, and then again, there would, would be an RGB strip going up the side here uh, if there was power running to the board right now. <laughs> this is the Z270X Power Gaming Titanium. This feature is like Game Boost option, uh, which you can press a, a red button there and it will automatically just juice your uh, processor and overclock the 5.2 gigahertz, provided of course you have the adequate cooling installed there. This one also has three M.2 slots, as well as a U.2. No, you can't use those all at the same time. And yes, there is some limitation on like RAID 0 M.2 configurations due to the chipset, but uh, hopefully I'll come back to that in the future and uh, give, it, give it another look and maybe do some RAID M.2 performance testing. This board right here, honestly, is uh, probably one of my top favorite uh, Z270 boards that have launched. Now, RGB LEDs, of course, there, 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 and there. But that's not really my favorite feature. My favorite feature is just everything that they wedged onto this board, which includes, again, three M.2 slots, a U.2 down, down there, a uh, couple USB 3.0 headers, this USB 3.1 header that's right there. Uh, the board is just, is just stacked. Of course, you got uh, features that you would expect on a higher-end gaming board, like surface mounted power reset and all that good stuff. Uh, and, and, I mean, it looks pretty cool, too. And again, a fairly neutral color scheme to go along with the RGB uh, LED lighting. I just said LED lighting, which is redundant. Here is a quick look at MSI's LED configuration. They have it going on right here in the uh, system 
next to this computer. Now, RGB LEDs, I mean, love them or hate them, they're here right now, and they have been developing the capabilities of them for quite some time. So uh, here, everything is just going crazy, but that's because people have been messing around with the different options over here. So uh, you can select pretty much any component in here that has RGB lighting, uh, like the HyperX DIMMs, the Core Frozer XL, MSI Clutch GM70, MSI Vigor GK70 TKL. Uh, this is for like the keyboard and all the stuff that's connected. So you can control those all from the same centralized software location. And then uh, that gives you the ability to change the lighting colors and stuff like that. So I just changed the HyperX DIMMs to green. Look at that. Did you even know that HyperX made RGB LEDs uh, DDR4 memory? You know now. There they are. Looking kind of cool. Anyway, so all that's available and configurable in the uh, MSI uh, app for control. It's in the gaming app, I should say, in the LED section. So check it out. And uh, if you already have an MSI product with RGB LED lighting, download the app because they've been updating it. Now, if you hadn't already noticed, all of these monitors that they have on display here are MSI monitors. MSI is entering the monitor space. Uh, they're starting off with this one here, which is kind of an everyman's gaming monitor is what I'll say. It's a 1080 resolution display, but it is curved ever so slightly. Uh, and, and what I would say is a decent level of curvature. Uh, and curved displays are okay if you're using it as a monitor. TVs is bad, monitors, it's okay. Uh, other than that, it has 144 hertz refresh rate. It is a TN panel in there, and they say they're gonna bring this to market for somewhere in the uh, $250 to $300 range. Uh, which is pretty good for those specs and, uh, and and what you get out of that. Now I'm curious if it's going to have support for say FreeSync or G-Sync. That was not really stated so far. They're still working on this. It's not going to be available uh, soon, but uh, perhaps in the first half of this year we might see an MSI monitor. So keep an eye out for it. Down here though is Gus. Yeah, that's Gus. Say hi to Gus, everyone. Gus actually stands for the Gaming Upgrade. Wait, Gaming GPU Upgrade System. I believe that's what it is. Basically, it's, a, it's an external Thunderbolt 3 GPU dock. It includes a 500 watt 80 plus gold power supply. If you have a device that's capable of Thunder, Th Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, uh, you can just plug it in here and then you can use an external GPU. So great for something like a, a very tiny mini PC or something like that. Or if you have a laptop and you want to plug in the laptop and game on it in the future. Uh, pretty interesting design here. It's very asymmetrical, I was noticing. Um, but all metal, you know, plenty of ventilation going on there. Up on the front is a USB 3.0 port that does support quick charge. There inside they have an MSI GPU, which I have to assume is a GTX 1080. Uh, and then it also has a couple USB 3.0 Type A in the rear and a couple USB 3.0 Type C. Uh, and, and, and it should be less money than the Razer Core, we're told. Although we're not sure how much it's going to cost so far. And over here we have, I think, in my opinion, the most exciting products that MSI has on display. Look, two motherboards for Ryzen. That is an AM4 socket right there, uh, which, is, which is very exciting. This is a B350 Tomahawk we're looking at first. Uh, MSI, or I'm sorry, uh, AMD has now informed us that they have a, a few chipsets because uh, they're going to have a wide range of products on AM4, uh, including high-end desktop parts with no integrated GPU, as far as we know, uh, as well as APUs that do have integrated G uh, GPUs that are probably going to be uh, lower power, that kind of thing. So the B350 Tomahawk over here, as far as what we know so far, has a DDR4, dual-channel DDR4, four DIMM slots for that. Uh, Turbo M.2, so you do get an M.2 port right there. Just one on this board because maybe that's something to do with the chipset. We're really not sure yet. Uh, easy debug LEDs, audio boost. Uh, they have a bit higher au quality audio components in here. Uh, and eight USB 3.1 Gen 1 and six USB 2.0. So tons of USB connectivity on there. That's, that's nice. USB 3.1 as well. Super sweet. This one over here is the X370 X Power Gaming Titanium. There's a few X's in that name. Uh, again, better quality audio, Audio Boost 4, uh, detects and outputs hi-fi grade audio at the right impedance. So that's kind of cool, it means if you have a higher impedance uh, headset, you plug it in, it will automatically detect it. Supports Ryzen, of course, 7th gen APU series processors, uh, which, which I guess are probably further, further off this year according to AMD. 2-way NVIDIA SLI, 3-way AMD Crossfire, 3 PCIe 3.0 slots, couple Turbo M.2s that are located right down there. Uh, and then again, 3 USB 3.1 Gen 2, 8 USB 3.1 Gen 1, 
and 7 USB 2.0. That's a again a lot of connectivity. Let's let's take a look at that over here. Oh, look at that. That is that is some sexy I/O right there. Uh, looks like one of those connectors at least is Type C as well. And honestly, these are the first AM4 motherboards that I've seen that aren't like green, like engineering sample prototype things. So I'm excited. You guys should be excited too. And guys, that's going to wrap it up for my coverage here at MSI. They, of course, have more stuff here than what I was able to talk about. So behind me is a row of desktop computers, because MSI does make full, complete desktop systems, as well as the laptops further down the end, including the GS83 GT Titan SLI VR. It's got, a, it's, it's got ch like Cherry MX switches and RGB lighting and all that good stuff. But Kyle's going to talk about that stuff. So I'll direct you over to Kyle's channel, Bitwit. Because uh, he has another video just on those things if you want to hear some more information. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to tell me things like how much you love CES 2017 coverage. Uh, I'll be back more with, with more stuff from CES. Uh, big thank you to my sponsors once again, Gigabyte, OCZ, as well as Deepcool. And we'll see you next time.